I am Lizzie with Long Distance Gamers and today I'm going to be unboxing Dawn on Titan. Okay, so here we go. Uh, so Dawn on Titan in the near future, big corporations fight over the control of space. Play as the head of one of these corporations exploring and exploiting the moons and asteroids in the outer parts of the solar system. Dawn on Titan is a fast game where you try to outwit and outmaneuver your opponents. To win, you need to build a specific combination of industries your company requires. Plan your moves and use the gravity of the planets to strike at your enemies and reach the resources you need before anyone else takes them. Build mines and factories, grow your fleets of spaceships, and upgrade your equipment and weapons to help you reach your goals. Asymmetrical winning conditions and modular setup. Ensures an exciting game every time you play in this fast-paced 5x game. Explore, expand, exploit, exterminate, and explode. So we played this when it was on Kickstarter, and there is a review if you want to go ahead and check that out. Uh, yeah, we did a video review that was shortly before that. Oh, wow. This is just a piece of artwork that you can just put up anywhere you want. That is beautiful. Oh, two pieces of artwork. Nice. Okay. Then we have lots of little teeny tiny chits. But, I mean, they're nice thickness. And they're punching out really nicely. And we have this lightning bolt. Okay. So then there's one and two. Man, I'm having trouble remembering the rules of this game. Maybe because there's so many. Look at this rule book. So we have all the components. And set up. Playing the game. Okay, so, so far it looks really nicely laid out. Okay. There we go. Very, very nice. Oh, and the solo rules. Did we play solo? Okay. So there's this. So when you're moving, it does show you that you move in different directions. So it's a little bit hard to remember, but here you're moving this way. And if you look very closely on the board, there's little trailing little uh, things. So you're moving this way, the light's trailing behind you. You're moving this way, the light's trailing behind you this way. So that's pretty cool. And it's nice that it's right there on the board. So that makes it pretty easy, hopefully. And yep, just one side. Okay, and then out lots and lots of baggies for all those little bits that you get. Okay. And here we go. So Lunar Legacy, Promeneering Pirates. Uh, so Moderato in Moderation, Specta Acognita, Omna Naso Australis Inc. and IPC Inc. Some Meta Conveniente. Okay. So, I mean, it's decent quality. I mean, it's not amazing quality, but it's functional. And then each of the player colors, which I know the gold and the silver means something. So, this is one that we didn't get to play in person. We've just played it on TTS, uh, so it was kind of hard. And I remember saying something about there being colorblind issues with these. And they look the exact same other than the colors, so they look... Uh, so I don't see any difference between those. And they do mean something. I just don't remember what. Uh, and then the ships in blue. So we have blue, a green, a red, and a purple. Well, we can play our favorite colors. And then we have really small chits. I don't remember. Oh, these are gems maybe? Oh yeah, you have to put stuff on here and you pull them off to use them. And some more, just a few more. So just lots and lots of wooden components. 
I know I often got these uh, what looks like hot air balloons and beakers confused while we were playing. And then we have tons of gears and a die. Okay, we do have some cards and nothing underneath. Okay, here we have... Yeah, and I was afraid of that the cards are a little thin. A little bit nervous about how these will look out. Okay, so AI cards, so this must be for the solo version. Lots of text. Okay, and then we have all these different things. Like you can do different things with different people. So plasma, laser, charged particles. Yeah. Oh yeah, you win against one, you lose against others. So, I find this in this thing, this method was of choosing the cards and possibly seeing what they are was really interesting. I really liked that. It was kind of like rock paper scissors, but not quite because you know you might be not all of these cards might not be in. So, but there's that. So yeah, so uh, yeah, one for each player color. So everyone gets these that set up, and then you get these through different things. But yeah, so every color got one of those. Uh, but that is everything you get in Donna Titan. Now, for those of you who have stuck around. We have an alien technology expansion. So, yippee -i yay And this. Okay. Oh, this opens up like that. That is an interesting way for it to open. Uh, so, we have another rule book. It's nice. It looks very functional. Short. Okay, although, come on, I love that there's credits on the rule book, but it'd be really nice to have like a summary on the back of rule books. That would be really nice. Okay, and combat deck. So we're going to be adding to our combat deck. So we'll just look at the top three. So Stealth Tempest, Light, and Beam. Okay, let me just add those in right there. And then some more of these tokens these these ships themselves I don't know and then we have some more gold and silver I mean they are punching up for the most part pretty nice they're just really really tiny so at least this will be a small footprint game you won't have to have three tables to be able to play it but that is everything that you get in Dawn of Titan plus the Alien Technology expansion. So this is one that I did really enjoy my play of it. I don't remember what my rating was, but I remember that you you whipped your ships around, you went and you tried to collect things, you tried to outmaneuver and outthink what everyone else was thinking. It was a really interesting game that I was really looking forward to getting my hands on. Now I have my hands on it. I'm not sure how I feel about these teeny tiny little resources, uh, but hopefully that'll just mean small footprint being able to get this game out easier. Probably doesn't have the exact wow factor as uh, some other games possibly. But it does look really interesting. The only thing that I wish would have changed is a uh, difference on the silver and gold side just for colorblind issues. But I guess you could put like a white dot in the middle for the silver side and leave the gold side alone. That would be one way to solve that. But until next time, just remember to have fun, be present, and be you. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us. We would love to hear from you. Also, if you find value in our content, please like, comment, or subscribe. Let a friend or family member know that we exist. Help us spread our channel and bring remote gaming to a table near you. Thank you very much, and have a great day.